some good old crazy glue with the paintbrush. Not too much, you don't want it on the actual LCD itself. Just where the glue could seep in. I'm wondering if it's my heater <coughs> might have been too hot for the LCD and what caused it to bow was the heat the next G5 I do guys it's free so whoever has a G5 with broken glass you send me your glass or purchase a glass for me and I'll do it for free on video If it doesn't work out, then you just have to purchase this LCD. But I'll try it less heat next time around. Thank you for calling TechMD. This is Dustin. I'm going to help you. Now we're open from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day. And then after that, it's based on appointment. Okay, what color is it? Um, so, what color is it? White. Okay. Silver, a silver back. Alright, so it's a hundred dollars plus tax for that repair. Okay. And then it normally takes around 30 minutes to an hour for it. Now if you want to save ten dollars you can pay cash and uh, we'll do a cash deal for, with you. Um, you can come in later tonight. I'm bu busy on a few other projects at the moment. Or you can come in tomorrow. Okay, what, what time is that? Um, we could say, how's a 6 o'clock sound? 6 o'clock? Yeah. Uh -huh. That'll work. Okay, and you come to our Draper location, right? Okay, great. I'll see you then. I've been there before. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Just going around the sides one more time here. Just because I was touching it. Make sure that it's glued down. Blue shouldn't seep under there, but if it does, you can get underneath the LCD right here. Just by putting a thin coat right here. In between the cables. Okay, and the bonding time for this. What is this? On skin instantly. <laughs> oh, good to know. I think it dries pretty fast. So why that's actually drying, we're gonna start setting up.
time I try to make a video, I'm always getting phone calls and, and whatnot, and I don't always have help to help me through it all. All right, so we are right here on the edge. And we're gonna have to get rid of some fingerprints I left on there. Let's take an alcohol or, yeah, alcohol will be good. Now I'm using acetone because it's super glue smeared. I got some on the screen apparently. Well, you guys are sure commenting a lot on YouTube. Appreciate the comments. I don't always be able to get to them. So it cracks because I think it bowed, guys. That is the main reason why I think it cracked. And it bowed because there was a lot of heat and these thin displays probably just can't handle as much heat. So the next one is free. You just have to pay the cost of screen. And yeah. All right, so we're gonna get liquid optical clear adhesive here and make our design. Now I do this without a mold on a flat surface uh, with uh, the cables hanging overward and then all the excess glue absorbs on the rag. I bond it for one minute on this side. If you've never seen any of my bonding videos, this is a technique that as far as I've seen, I'm the only person who's ever used it and it works real good. I don't even think I need to clean this. This is in perfect condition. Hey. Let's slowly lay this down. And how we align it is we're going to use a flashlight from our phone. Just about to say iPhone, but it could be anything. I don't have to have an iPhone. iPhone flashlight seems to work best though. So I'm just pressing on it and making sure it's a nice surface. With the extra glue, what happens is it will keep it all intact and not flow inward. If you press it too hard, then it will flow inward and you have to hold it down. But then that can create bubbles in the future. So just letting you know. Okay, so we're going to line it up here. Okay, we're gonna bond for one minute on this side. Pause the video while it's bonding for one minute. Okay guys, third and final part. Hopefully I can get it all in one final video here. Okay, so I'm gonna decide to use a crazy glue for the sides instead of using Gorilla Glue, just because I have a little bit more precision with the crazy glue and I don't have very much room on the G5 here. One last thing I wanted to do is take this thing apart before I did anything else. I'm not exactly sure if this is a button I have to press to release the battery. Hmm. 
I didn't make this overly complicated. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. Oh boy. Okay. Let's get our screwdriver here. Looks like it's a little bit glued on here. Another screw. It's really tight. Speakers in this thing as well. Looks like it's all just plastic clips. It's crazy, I can't figure out how to work the battery mechanism. It's no pull. It's definitely in there real well. The side's glued on as well. Jeez Louise. Well, there's the USB C there. <clears throat> the speaker here. So I guess when you exchange out your batteries quick, this will come with it. The speaker doesn't seem to want to come out. Seems like it's part of it. But, they're showing a design where you could remove it. Just can't figure it out. Don't want to break it here. You know, just been in plastic. Let's just leave that alone. <laughs> that is bizarre. Why can't I take out this battery? I'm pretty sure they were swappable. This this piece alone. What's wrong with me, guys? Try to move it side by side, pushing the button in, up and down. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, just really hard force. <laughs> 